Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechah which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay. Now, the title of this lesson is uh, going to be um, Flow with the Current. Okay, Flow with the Current. And what prompted me uh, to uh, title this lesson as such is, um, you know, obviously the scripture. And we're going to get it. Okay, it's going to be the first precept I bring out, you know, about forcing the course of the river. Okay, and that, and I'm bringing that out, okay, as it pertains to. OK, what's been going on a lot lately, you know, and um, as the scriptures say, uh, evil and wicked men uh, 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 and seducing spirits shall whack worse and worse. You know, roughly paraphrasing. OK, and we're seeing it, whether it be with the ISUPK, IUIC, OK, uh, those guys out in uh, Mississippi, you know, and uh, obviously and I've been doing lessons on it. You know, I did, a, a you know, uh, the spirit got on me heavy to do a few uh, last week. And uh, prior to that, you know, um, and that's a part of it, okay? But as the scriptures tell us what? To be temperate in all things, okay? And this is, you know, admonishment to myself first and foremost, just as well as the rest of the body, you know, and those who it, you know, pertains to, okay? Because what we don't want to do is get bogged down with guys that the Most High has allotted to destruction, okay? Now, obviously, we want to defend this gospel, we want to push this word out, okay? Um, we want to feed the sheep, okay? But what we have to be mindful of is that at the end of the day, <laughs> the Heavenly Father is in complete control, okay? It's really nothing that we could do or cannot do to uh, upset or, um, hey, or force what the Heavenly Father has ordained to happen, okay? Now, obviously... When you go back into the history and look at the spirit of the prophets, hey, huge hearts, okay? Whether it be the prophet Jeremiah, okay? And really all the prophets on down, okay? You, you know, one of the reasons why, uh, uh, it's not the main reason, but one of the reasons why Noah prophesied for over 100 years that it was going to rain, because he loved the people, man, okay? And the scriptures speak about what we do being a labor of love, and that's exactly what it is. It's a labor of love. We love to do this. And one of the underlying and overlying topics is we love our people, okay? And then the reality is, look, all of Israel is going to be saved, okay? But now, you know, hey, the degenerates got to get their judgment, man. Do we know who the degenerates are? No. Okay? Do we know who the elect are? No. Uh, outside of those brothers that teach the word with us and that we've been made privy to, those that are walking sincerely, but outside of that, we don't know, Okay? Our job is to do what? Be robots for your how about Shemiah Shah to go out and push this word. Teach it on the highways and hedges and put up shows. That's it. That's all. Okay. And also the elders have admonished us. Elder Apostle Tahar specifically has admonished us and told us, look, man, don't go up to these other camps. You know, not saying that, bro, you know, brothers are doing that, you know, and if, hey, if the shoe fits, you know, let it hit, you know. But, um, you know, don't be going up to the IUIC or ISUPK or GC, GOCC or ICJC or any of these other camps trying to teach them, man. OK, because the scriptures speak about men's uh, conscience being seared with a hot iron. OK, so if you go up to somebody whose conscience has been seared with a hot iron, you know, <laughs> like the elder, uh, not the Zakba, <laughs> but said, you know, you're pulling your Bible out, talking to your family and shit and you sweating and shit for no reason. Like the scriptures say. You, you receive a blot into yourself trying to teach somebody that is not for. That's why the Heavenly Father has set up the parameters. OK, go to the chief places of concourse out to the highways and the hedges. You go out for however many hours, bring it out, shut it down, go home. OK, and then the spirit hits, do shows during the week, man. You see, that's how this doctrine and this uh, 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 
this truth is going to spread. OK, not by us doing personal missionaries, going up to different camps and trying to speak to them and trying to get them to understand like these other camps do. OK, no, no, no. We've been given the blueprint on how to push this word. And that's all we got to do. OK, the most High simplified this thing for us. OK, we ain't got to reinvent the wheel, you know, but more importantly, OK, when it comes to doing your shows, you know, and this is this is touchy, you know, because uh, we can't uh, quench the spirit. Now, the spirit jumps on you to get on uh, some guys. So be it. But don't get bogged down, okay, in watching these other guys' pages and doing rebuttals and responses, okay? Because to be honest with you, uh, and that's how I look at it, and I'm speaking as a man, you know, and other brothers look at it as such, that uh, that lot has been given to, you know, the elder apostles and, you know, the elders that are up under them, the bishops, okay, and the elders that are up under them. OK, who better to deal with those matters than them? OK, now, are you wrong for doing a show like that? Of course not. Of course not. But the, the, the message in this video is don't get bogged down in it. Don't make that your MO. OK, to go on the IUIC's page and, and watch their videos every week and do responses to their videos, because the reality is what we got a slew of brothers and great millstone that are doing very edifying videos. Kate going into the history and most importantly going into prophecy that you can land back off of. Okay. So that's the message in this lesson, man. Okay, because the reality is what? We can't force nothing. The most high is in absolute control. And he's gonna bring into the fold who he wants to bring in, and he's gonna resist those that are not that that are not a part of the election. Plain and simple. Okay. Nothing about what we do is self-willed. Okay, our job is a hey, to stand upon that that high mountaintop and proclaim the names of your how by shimmy shy and pour out the true doctrine okay which is based upon prophecy you see exhortation and all of those other things okay let's deal with us you know first and foremost now like i mentioned spirit jumps on you to to rebuttal some some madness that you saw okay so be it but like I, i'm continue to say don't get bogged down in it to where that's your mo okay uh, so let's get uh, some precepts. Enough yapping. Uh, the first one I want to get is uh, the book of Sirach. You know, since I've been quoting it, Sirach chapter 4, verse 25. And it says, um, Be not ashamed. It's no Salaki. I started uh, 25. Yeah, Salaki. I started 26, 25. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 4, verse 25. It says, In no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance. You see? And that's what a lot of these guys are doing. Okay? They're speaking against the truth. When you come against the, the men, okay, and more specifically the elder apostles of Great Millstone, okay, you're coming against the truth. Whether you know it or not, hey, that's between you and the Holy Spirit. You need to do more work and find it out. Okay? But us, we've been fully persuaded in our own minds. And this is not anything about, you know, showing favor to the mighty or, 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 uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, ah, the scriptures uh, said respect the persons. Nah, 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 nah. This ain't about respect the persons, man. This is about years and years, okay. And and depending on how long you've been in this faith, of of constantly watching the men at Great Millstone, okay. And in in, in uh, uh, Isaiah, what is it? Uh, I believe it's forty five or fifty four, you know, and seventeen that no tongue. Uh, that uh, comes again. Uh, every tongue that comes against you uh, shall be condemned. Okay, and I've witnessed that over and over and over and over. Not only with the elder apostles of Great Millstone, but the men on down. Okay, and that's what ultimately compelled me to say, you know what? These are the guys. Okay, why? Because like the scriptures say, you're supposed to try the spirit by the spirit. Okay, and a lot of these other Israelites are not doing that. Okay, they're just uh, uh, entertained by the gimmicks, nice garments high horses and things of that nature. They're not about your how about Shimei Shai. You see? So the scripture is saying, it says, in no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance. You see? So if that does happen, you're supposed to repent. Okay? And be abashed of it. Now, a lot of these guys aren't. So just according to the scriptures, they have their, hey, they have their reward. You see? So it says, um, 
verse 25. It says, be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river. OK, and that's the point, you see, and that's what we hey, those of us that are walking in this thing sincerely. Hey, we, we can we go off. OK, see at, 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 uh, at the IUIC. OK, they push the law, keeping the law, keeping the law, you know, when the reality is you're not keeping the law perfect. If you offend in one, you're offending all. You see. And uh, Elder Apostle Tahar said that uh, a couple weeks back. He said they really shouldn't be pushing that. Okay? They shouldn't be pushing keep the law, keep the law. Because you guys are going off. Okay? We all are. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory. That's what the scriptures say. You see? But like I say, that, you know, <laughs> that's another topic. But for those of us that are walking in this thing sincerely, when we go off, we confess our sins before the Heavenly Father. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Lord. Okay? And then also understanding that we cannot force the course of the river. Okay. And that's the point I wanted to bring out. Yeah. The, the Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Tahar just brought it out. Uh, the, uh, just past Saturday. He said, we believe they're elect scattered amongst uh, those uh, congregations. But guess what? That's on them. That's up to them to hear, hear the voice of, of, of the lamb. Okay. Or the shepherd, the great, the good shepherd. You see, that's on them, not on us. We're doing our job. We're going out pushing the word, bringing out prophecy, admonishing one another, okay? Exhorting one another to be better, okay? As, as we see the day approaching. We're doing that, okay? So we can't get bogged down into trying to get on these guys and curse them out. Now, hey, it happens. Like with the elder brother Ariala, the spirit got on him. He had been holding his peace for years, on the wickedness that he's uh, or seen or, or, you know, that has been uh, cast upon him from these other guys. So it happens. OK. But as the scriptures say, be temperate in all things. And there's a time and season for everything. OK. Don't get bogged down and going into IUIC or going to ICJC or ISUPK. Don't don't get bogged down in that shit, man. OK. Let's get bogged down and, and, and wondering how the righteous shall be saved. And not how the wicked shall be punished, you see, or thinking that we can actually force the course of the river and, and pull guys out of uh, 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 these wicked congregations. We can't. OK, we can't even wake nobody up. You see, the most high does all of that, man. OK, so let's get uh, another precept. This is a uh, matter of fact, since I, I, I brought that point out, I better get it. I bet to get to this is a uh, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 34 you know since I just quoted it you know I had it in the lesson but I, it was further down but let's bring it now the spirit saying bring it see now forcing the course of the river <laughs> you see and understanding who's in control, man. Okay, now, which we do, but sometimes you know you get emotional, which which happens. Okay, that's a part of a a, a righteous man falling seven times. You know, that's a part of it. You know, because here at Great Millstone, um, you know, there's a, a, a admonishment that goes out about being emotional, overly emotional. Now we we're humans. Okay, we have emotions. Okay, but there's there a hey, there's a cutoff point. You know. To the point where you, you now you're, you're griping like a woman, okay, and constantly getting on a, a certain group or whatever, you're being overly emotional. You see, and emotion and being overly emotional brings confusion. Okay, we're we're men, you see, and not only just regular mortal men. Okay, we are mortal men, you know, but we we're men who've been blessed with the understanding of the scriptures of Yahweh Shimei Shai. OK, so there's a certain type of integrity that we're supposed to walk with. Like it says, uh, Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. OK, when you go into that word plain, it means having integrity. You see, so there's a cutoff point when it comes to emotions. OK, this is Isaiah chapter 34. In 16, Isaiah 34 and 16, it says, search the book. It says, search the book. Of Yahweh Shimei Shai and see what he will do 
Oh, Salakia, I'm in the NLT. <laughs> Salakia, but hey, we all know how that NLT gets down. But let's go to the KJV. So this is uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 34, 17. No, Salakia, 16. Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh by Shimei Shai and read. You see? And that's what a lot of these other guys are not doing. Okay? That's a part of, like I mentioned earlier, trying the spirit by the spirit. Okay? You can watch videos till you're blue in the face. But if you're not reading, you can't connect the dots. Okay? Because what do the scriptures say? Blessed is he that readeth. So the opposite of that is what? Cursed is he that doesn't read. You see? It ain't all about just watching videos. And doing shows no 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 you got to read man okay and for those brothers that can you know me me myself personally and i'm working on it uh well the lord's working on it salakia through the spirit of power you how about shimei shy you know i can't really read uh, uh my sword you know because the, the font is too small but i just went through you know a whole process of me think they think they thought i had glaucoma and then it actually was a tumor and it got removed so now i'm in the process of you know the heavenly father binding everything back up you know but eventually i want to actually pick my sword up and read out of it instead of the cell phone you get what i'm saying because there's power in that book man Okay, so verse 16, it says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh Shimei Shai and read. No one of these shall fail, meaning what? The prophecies. Okay, it says, None shall want her mate. Okay, meaning you can't mate any other book up with this. Okay, and that's why we, we always bring that out. Okay, what other book shows you how to avoid thermonuclear holocaust? <laughs> you can't find one. Okay, you might have one that speaks about bunkers. Okay, but if you buy a bunker in, a, in America, then... You've invested in a press, a human pressure cooker. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. And then ultimately that ain't going to save you. The scriptures speak about, though they dig into, to, to, uh, into, uh, hell, you know, from thence shall I bring them, you know, meaning you could dig into the ground and, and put your bunker uh, abroad out of, uh, outside of America. Okay. But you can't avoid the wrath of the heavenly father. Okay. Okay. It says, um, it says, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth, it have commanded. Whose mouth? The heavenly father. You see? Through what? Through his son, Yahweh Shai and the prophets. It says, for my mouth, it have commanded. And his spirit have gathered them. Okay? And what's the heavenly father's spirit? This word. This truth. That's what's going to gather them. Like you read uh, the book of Baruch. I believe it might be chapter 4. Where it speaks about, uh, you know, the word coming from uh, 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 the east, okay, to gather his children from the west, you see? Because the majority of the Israelites have been cast to the uttermost parts of the earth, which is the western hemisphere, you see? But ultimately, it's the word, you see? And that's what we do. So we ain't got to get bogged down and you know, curse these niggas out all the time. Now, it happens. You get in your feeling, you, you know, like I've seen the elder apostles do it. You know, but don't make that your MO. Don't make that something that you're constantly doing because now you can come off as overly emotional. And the reality is, hey, let's focus on the ministry. Let's focus on the brothers in your camp, man. Watch their videos. Watch the elders videos and other brothers and, and come up with titles and lessons. And like I say, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, you know, because last week I kind of got in, you know, in, in a vibration and it was through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And just was, you know, calling shit out, you know, but hey. I did that. Now, let's let's get back to, you know, let's get back to admonishment, edifying, building brothers up. Okay. The last two videos I did through the Spirit of Power, Yahweh by Shemal Shah, was uh, being led by the Spirit, uh, one of the titles. And then the other one was, um, uh, I forget, but uh, you, you brothers can go ahead and see it on the page. But it was more of a uplifting, you know what I'm saying? Exhortation. And that's, you know, my niche. I remember the uh, elder brother, uh, Maya Ka'ala, out in... Uh, out in uh, L.A., uh, the beautiful brother, you know, he he went into a lesson on, hey, uh, uh, basically finding what your niche is in this truth and riding it. You know what I'm saying? Like some brothers are good with the prophecies, you know, and, and going into current events. Ride that. That's your calling. OK, with many members, like the scriptures say, you know. But the reality is we're out pushing the world. We're going to the highways and hedges. OK, we're putting up shows during the week. So if that ain't enough, then it ain't for them. 
You get what I'm saying? Because the reality is there, there's a, 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 a hey, two thirds of Israel shall be cut off and die. You know how many people that is? You can't even fathom. Because we don't know the actual number of Israelites here in America, man. But two thirds of them are going to get put to death. So that shows you what? As the scriptures say, uh, 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 this is a, a little sanctuary, man. You know, this ain't for everybody. And you see it on your everyday walk. You see it. These people are totally set in their folly, you know. And like the scriptures say, uh, uh, the people that are going to be saved compared to the people that are destroyed. And that's a broad, that's, that's you know, worldwide is like a wave to a drop. You see? So that's something that we got to understand as well, man. Just go teach the word and, and who is for the most high is going to make it happen. Because like it says here, I'll read it again. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh Bashim Shai and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth, you see his mouth, for my mouth, it have commanded and his spirit, his Possessor. It's all about your how about Shim Shai. His spirit, it have gathered them. So that's what's gonna gather. Okay. Not us constantly doing videos and getting on these niggas. That ain't gonna help. Because if they conscience here with a high iron, what can we do? If the most high has allotted them to the sword, what the hell are we gonna do? <laughs> you know? Hey, let's continue to take that beam out of our own eye, you know. That's the spirit. Okay, let's let's wonder how the righteous shall be saved. Because the scriptures tell us what. The righteous shall scarcely be saved, right? So let's focus on that, man. Let's continue to focus on that, okay? So lock you up. This is, uh... Yep, this is 2nd Ezra. Uh, and I'm going to start at 37, okay? But I believe I'll jump down... No, I'll start at 36. But I'm going to jump down to uh, verse 47 to hit the point. Okay, and obviously, uh, if you're not privy to this... Um, you know, Ezra is basically in that same spirit the prophet Jeremiah was in, you know, like basically like trying to speak up for the nation of Israel. OK, which and like I've mentioned before, that is one of the attributes of the prophets, man. OK, we care. We absolutely care about our people. OK, but just like in the case of Jeremiah, hey, the people were making pits for his soul, not for his flesh, for his soul. They're trying to kill this man's soul. To the point where the weeping prophet, Jeremiah, ended up putting curses on his own people. You see? So that was a part of Jeremiah's maturation. He had to understand. That's why the Lord told him what? Pray not for this people. If you only knew how they felt about you, uh, Jeremiah or your Ramya, okay, in the Hebrew. If you only knew how these people felt about you, man, you wouldn't be praying for them, man. And understanding that, look, I numbered them to the sword from the beginning. Just like... There are some of us, Lord willing, with those men that have been allotted to salvation from the beginning. And that's the huge comfort in, in, in this whole thing, man. Knowing that the Heavenly Father has declared the end from the beginning. You see? So we ain't gotta, we ain't gotta, you know, get over exacerbated about, you know, one thing or another. Okay? He's the omnipotent. Okay? Man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? You see? So, uh, this is our uh, second Ezra chapter eight. And we started 36. It says for in this, O Lord, thy righteousness and thy goodness shall be declared. If thou be merciful unto them, which have not the confidence of good works, you see? So just showing you like the spirit that Ezra was in. Okay. But the, you, you, Ezra said it. It says, for in, uh, for in this, O Lord, thy righteousness and thy goodness shall be declared. Okay? And part of the Heavenly Father's righteousness and goodness is putting, putting the degenerates of our nation to death. Okay? Why? Because they've been wicked for way too long. That's a part of the righteousness and goodness. So even within that, <laughs> Ezra answered his own question. Okay? But verse 37, it says, then answer he... Then answered he me and said, some things has thou spoken aright and according unto thy works, it shall be. Verse 38, for indeed, I will not think on the disposition of them which have sinned before 
uh, before death, before judgment, before destruction. You see? So the heavenly, that's the heavenly father stance. So we should take that same stance. Okay? Don't worry, don't worry about them, man. Okay? Now, obviously, uh, the most high have care for his elect. So we have care for the elect. But outside of the brothers that we deal with, you know, or that are in our camp, respectively, or a broad and great millstone that we've been made privy to that are pushing out these shows and walking in sincerity. Outside of that, we don't know. We don't know who the elect is. That's why the 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 uh the commandment has been set for us to go out to the highways and hedges. You see? And to, de and to declare it at the mazabak or, or the, at the altar. You see? And just preach. And if they hear, good. If they don't, good. We've done our job. You see? That simplifies it. Verse 39, it says, But I will rejoice over the disposition of the righteous, and we remember also their pilgrimage and the salvation and the reward that they shall have. You see? So that pretty much embodies the scripture. Hey, worry not how the uh, wicked shall perish, but how the righteous shall be saved. You see? Because, hey, like I mentioned before, the scriptures say the, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. You see? And I get it, brothers care. But let's care for, about what the Lord cares about, which is the righteous. Okay, the, the, the men that are actually doing this thing. Let's, let's send up prayers for our elder apostles, man. Pray that they're healed from their, their, their sicknesses and brothers abroad, man. You know, Let, let's focus on that. Now, like I said, are you wrong if you see a video and you want to do a response to it? Like the uh, we call them the Care Bears out there in Mississippi, okay, who are now saying that it's okay to smoke weed. Hey, the spirit jump on you to, to attack that, so be it. You know, me personally, it ain't worth my time, you know, but I won't knock a brother who does do a show on it. Because guess what? You may have a brother out there that's still smoking weed and he may see it, you know, and we can't quench the spirit. But if you see three or four brothers have done videos on it, there's really no need to lamb back it, man. OK, because the spirit is gone out to rebuke that vibration. And that's it, man. OK, let's admonish one each other, one another. Let's exhort one another. OK, let's watch these videos on history and, you know, uh, 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 you know, every now and then getting into the Hebrew. We got a lot of other things that we could be doing, brothers. You know what I'm saying? We ain't just got to focus on that. And like I said, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, right? So it says, uh, now we're going to jump down to uh, 47. 47, right? So this is uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 47, and it reads, For thou, uh, for thou comest far short. Okay, and this Heavenly Father speaking to uh, Ezra. It says, For thou comest far short that thou shouldest be able to love my creature more than I. But I have oft times drawn nigh unto thee and unto it, but never to the unrighteous. You see? So the Heavenly Father is telling Ezra, look, man, <laughs> you, you don't love Israel more than me. You know? That's my child. That's my creation. That's my creature, my chosen creature. All the creatures are the heavenly fathers, but he chose Israel out of all the nations of the earth, man, to be a special people unto himself. So obviously the love is there and that's why he's going to jack them up. Okay. That's why he's going to jack Jake the fuck up, man. And really, what is, what is that? A show of love. Okay. Cause it, it could have been Edomites. After a thousand years of slavery, once our Lord returns, Edomites are, go, are, are going to be uh, abolished. <laughs> I mean, not abolished, but diminished, totally destroyed as a nation. You see, look at the captivity that the heathens got to go through. The thousand years of uh, being in slavery under men that have spiritual powers. You see, and then like as the scriptures say in the book of Romans, all of Israel shall be saved. You see, and that's another thing that we got to look at, man. Hey, it, it may not be for him to get it on this side. Fuck him. You know, and that's been the spirit going out too, man. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't part of this truth, man. And it necessarily got to be under great millstone. But you ain't part of this truth. You ain't going outside and crying and pushing this word. Man, fuck you. Straight up and down, man. Let's focus on who we need to focus on. The brothers. 
the brotherhood, man, our elder apostles and the men on down. Let's focus on that, man. Okay, let's focus on the doctrine. You know, let's focus on being humble and contrite. Protect your energy. Like the elder brother, Yadizak says, man, protect your energy, man. Okay, that's extremely important over here in hell. You see? Protect your energy, brothers. You see? So let's get one more to close out. It's the book of John, chapter 10. And as you can see, parable of the good shepherd, and it goes into uh, the hirelings, okay? Like a lot of these, the heads of the, a lot of these other groups who sold out, who taken that Judas purse, okay? And sold out their congregations. And when Esau rolls on them, they're going to leave their congregation, okay? <laughs> yeah, man. It's written. It's, it has been written, and it has all Salakia. It has always happened, okay? Uh, pretty much since our inception, man. Okay, they have a hey, among like the scriptures say, amongst my people, I found wicked men. Okay, nothing new under the sun, and we see it now to this day. Okay, so this is Saint John chapter ten. And uh, at this point, uh, our Lord Yahweh is dealing with the uh, the Jews, okay, the wicked Jews. Yeah, let's start at 23. This is uh, John 10 and 23. And Yahweh shall walk in the temple in Solomon's porch, verse 24. Then came the Jews round about him and said, <laughs> how ironic, Yahweh shall walk in, in the temple in Solomon's porch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you know, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, St. John chapter 10, verse 24. It says, then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, how long dost thou make us to doubt? Okay, so basically, uh, our Lord was speaking to the people in parables. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and the reason why is because, like he told the uh, the disciples, because they asked, he said, "Why are you speaking to the people in parables?" He said, "Because it's given for you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. To them, it ain't given." Okay, so that cuts that Christianity bullshit, man. About the scriptures being all inclusive, it's not. The one you call Jebus, okay, whose name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. That's the name his mother and father gave him, okay? He was telling people, look, this ain't for everybody. John John the Baptist said it. Hey, who who, who uh, told y'all that the, the kingdom of heaven was for y'all? You know? <laughs> y'all niggas bugging, man. <laughs> you know? So that's in the scriptures, man. But they don't read. Oh, don't read. Blessed is he that readeth. Okay, verse 24 again, it says, Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long does thou make us to doubt? If thou be the uh, uh, Hamashiach or the Messiah, tell us plainly. No, 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 no. Y'all not going to tell the Messiah what to do. <laughs> so, you niggas got frustrated, man. You keep talking these parables and the sower and this and that. Nah, nah, nah. It ain't for you to know the mysteries. You niggas is off. You niggas is wicked. Okay, verse 25, it says, Yahweh shall answer them. I told you, and ye believe not. <laughs> the works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. Okay, so he wasn't just speaking in parables. He was telling them straight way, uh, uh, a straight way. Okay, and telling them, look, the, the most high going to destroy this temple. Okay, and then it'll be built back up. And they, they looked at him, oh, this blasphemer. So he was telling them stuff that was prophetical. And they couldn't receive. They couldn't believe it. Okay? It says, uh, verse 25, Yahweh shall answer them, I told ye, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name. You see? He, he always pushed that vibration. It's not about me. Everything that I do is in the name of my Father. It says, they bear witness of me. You see, verse 26. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. You see? And that's the reality, brothers. Certain people ain't of the flock, man. That's just, hey, we need to be extremely thankful, okay, that the Heavenly Father has given us that eye salve and that understanding, okay, came in and supped with us, 
you know, and we need to be appreciative of it, you know, and understanding that that ain't something that we did ourselves. Okay. Like we read in Isaiah 34 chapter, the spirit have gathered them. That's how we came into this ministry. The spirit called us into it. Okay. Now we give credit to mortal men. We give thanks and, and, and double honors to our elder apostles, but they'll tell you, we can't save y'all. You got to follow the spirit. You see, it says, but ye believe, verse 26, but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. You see, and brothers, we got to we got to meditate upon that. We got to understand that. OK. Now, like I said, are you wrong for getting on these guys that, hey, that's a part of it, okay? But do not get bogged down in it, man. There are a lot of edifying videos coming out amongst Great Millstone that you can land back off of. And that, you know, basically just study, you know? Don't get bogged down and, hey, well, I'm going, I'm going to go on this page and see what they said now. Oh, phew, phew. you know, let me, and, and really I had to check myself, you know? And I got admonishment from uh, a few brothers, you know, even uh, Elder uh, uh, elder Apostle uh, Raka. You know, like personally, but it was like, you know, he understood, but he, you know, hey, brother, let, let them tear each other down. They're going to tear, tear themselves down, you know? So this ain't me coming from a place of, hey, brother, stop that shit. No, no, no. I had to check myself, you know? So, yeah, brothers, hey, the, 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 the proverbial line has been drawn in the sand. Okay, uh, what's that? Uh, Revelation, the 22nd chapter. Hey, let him that is unjust be unjust. That he that uh, is uh, is righteous be righteous still. You know, plain and simple. Do your job, okay. Focus on what you need to do to uh, receive salvation and avoid the wrath of the Most High, which is the utter destruction that's coming at the end. Okay, keep the main thing, the main thing. So with that, I say, Kwam Yasharala and Ababa Ba Shalom.